I'm Crystal O and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do passion twists. Not spring twists, passion twists. And no, they are not the same. People always get them mixed up, but guys, they look nothing alike. But today, I'm going to be doing passion twists because they're so cute. I saw this girl on Pinterest that had this really, really cute um, passion twist mix of colors in her hair and I'm like, inspo give me that okay so today I'm going to be using the free trust water wave in the colors 27 30 and 4 and the reason why I'm going for so many different colors is because I'm trying to achieve a nice blend of colors that I would really think would like look good on me hopefully I'm going ahead and I'm just going to um, snip off the bonds that are currently on the hair So now that I have all of my hair unbonded, this is basically what it all looks like. As you can see, it's very springy, but they are fashion twists, they're not spring twists. So before I start, I'm going to go ahead and stretch through all of this hair. So when you're doing this here, you're going to want to make sure you have a lot of surfacey space to um, lay your hair out on so that, you know, you can easily grab it whenever you need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it and I'm gonna show you guys first of all how to stretch it and then I'm gonna go through and stretch all of it and come back and get this process started. All right, so this is the piece of hair that we're gonna have and when you stretch it, you're basically just going to want to pull the hair apart. Then you're gonna to wanna to bring that back down. You don't wanna like ruin it, but you just wanna like make sure that the hair is pulled apart in a you know organized manner you don't want to mess it up so once you feel like maybe some tension when you pull apart just kind of stop there and even it back out so that you can now just start seeing the fluffiness of it instead of like it like being tangled up and super like not usable I would actually also just say like don't open these tips up because you're gonna cause more um, more like I, I think more loose hairs and more like tangling for the whole process so this would be one piece of hair like I would grab it and then add it to my like braids in a sense or the twists I wouldn't take it apart and then use this to like make a twist I would add it to um, a twist so this is what basically this one looks like clear clear difference that's basically what stretching will look like. I'm going to stretch these um, really quickly and then I'm going to come back and jump into this process because your girl is ready for some passion twists. Five hours later. More like six hours later, but first of all, this is basically what it's looking like so far. I started off my twists with a braid, so you're going to want to prep it for a braid method um, just in terms of like, you know, starting the twist off. So here you go, you're gonna have them interlock each other. And I use this foam because y'all, it was literally a miracle worker through this process of just detangling the hair and allowing it to be smooth for me to use um, on my hair until I kind of get the kinks out as I was twisting. And I use Gorillaz.hair to um, just help give me some like a grip, I would say, a good grip. And it also helped like the roots look a little smoother so i would say use gorilla snot i know people would be like no it dries out your hair don't use it but honestly like use what you think will work and what you know won't completely damage your hair so now i'm going to take my braid and i'm going to find the middle piece and this middle piece is what i'm going to use to place on my strand of hair that's literally sticking out so you can't see it super clearly here, but I'm just gonna take the middle piece and then I'm going to bring my other hand around it. And I'm just going to start my braid off just like this. And I braided about two to three, or maybe even four braids before I started doing the twists. So it really just depends on um, what you're wanting and what you're going for. People were doing the twist on method. I did the braid on method because I felt like it was just something that might would make my um, braids more secure. So now I'm just gonna start twisting it. And what I like to say and tell people is that it's a twist in a twist. So make sure you're gripping your own natural hair really tightly and also gripping um, the hair in it to make sure it's neat and clean. And also the gel that you use will give you a clean effect as well. So now I'm just gonna keep showing you guys how I am twisting 
and finishing up this twist. So along the way, you might see some little hang away or hairs that don't want to conform. You're just going to have to like tightly pull them back in and make sure that they're all in one accord. And then you're just gonna twist, 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 twist. So this is basically what it's looking like. And the hair kind of gives you a really good, um, I guess, um, leeway and grip to twist because it's already so curly. So it's not as hard to twist. It's very like automatic in a sense because it has those nice curls. So I'm just gonna finish up this twist and show you guys what I do with it. So I go ahead and cut the remainder of the hair that I don't want on it. And I also trim it just because I'm like somewhat of a perfectionist and this is a style that's kind of like rough. So it's not gonna look super clean and neat because that's not the style. Um, it's supposed to be like a very nice boho look. So I trimmed a little bit to my satisfaction and there, that was it. So this is basically what the roots are looking like. The back is looking like and I must say that I am in love with it. So to finish off, I'm just gonna trim the loose ends on the bottom of my hair. Um, there were quite a few, so you might have to do this for a little while. And then after that, I'm gonna go through and pump, 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 pump. Uh -oh. <laughs> and I'm going to just um, set my hair with this foam and make sure that it's just completely thoroughly um, just sinking into the twists and my roots. And it smells really good as well. So I would definitely suggest and recommend buying this. Whew. Okay, so this is basically what the finished product looks like. I mean, I really, really like it. I do have my beef with this hairstyle, but I would say that overall, um, it's really cute. Um, it's about lower back kind of length. But um, let's go ahead and get into the pros and cons of this hairstyle. So I'll first of all start with pros, probably just to kind of like, I guess start good. Or you know what, I'll just start with cons, just so we can like end well. Like, and on a good note. Um, so I will say that y'all, a con for me was having to purchase like 11 packs of hair. So in each um, twist, I have about three to four strands. So when I realized that the hair was running low, I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna have to like scale back and even go and add like expression hair, like more, more hair that I already had laying around the house. I basically spent $77 with just by purchasing the hair so god forbid if i did not know how to do my own hair i would have had to pay 77 dollars plus the price to get your hair done um in this style so it would have been a bit costly for me i don't know about you but um we bought on a budget over here so to me this was like quite a bit um of money but i think that if you can do it yourself you're definitely saving yourself tons of money on that um, and yeah, just cost was quite, quite a bit. And number of packs was quite disrespectful. Um, but yeah. So the next con I would say this hair has is that while doing my hair, um, I kept on coming across a lot of kinks and that really made it frustrating and hard to like do my hair in peace. Like I just felt like every other second I was like busy pulling and trying to like get, you know, kinks out of my hair which was so annoying and I've done like all kinds of hairstyles but I would definitely say that this was like the most annoying like uh, uh, like let me get through and just kept on tangling while I was doing it but um, the foam that I did use helped out a lot so if you desire to make this hairstyle for yourself I would definitely you know recommend you purchase that foam because it really helped with detangling um, the other con would be that um, yeah, I think that's my, oh, this mug is heavy. This hair is so heavy. Like, I was at church today and I was just like, ow, like, goodness gracious. Like, there's so much weight on my head. But like I said, that could just maybe be the way that I wanted it in its fullness to be. Like, this is quite full. Like, this is a bit full. I wouldn't say it's like massively full, but it is a bit full. So maybe if you don't want your hair full, you can scale back on the number of packs you use um, and the hair you do put in your hair. I have a smaller skull, so I'm quite surprised that my hair actually took 11 packs. But um, yeah, if you're looking to have maybe like smaller twists, you could do like 
maybe two strands or stick to three strands but I went ahead and did four for the majority and then three for a bit quite a few because um, I was running out of hair so um, yeah it's quite heavy I've definitely had lighter hairstyles um, and then I think my last con would be just like I mean, I think with any kind of hair, it just gets in the way. Like, when I'm, like, trying to, like, do something. Like, I was worshiping today at church, and then, like, my hair swung and almost hit a lady. And I was like, oh, I do not need a lawsuit. So, that was kind of scary. But other than that, um... Yeah, let's jump into some pros. All right, so some pros of this hairstyle is that it's real cute. <laughs> it's really cute. Um, I've gotten, like, so many compliments on it. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my goodness, you know, what kind of hair is it? Is it spring twist? Is it passion twist? So that's been pretty awesome. Um, I personally do like the hair. Um, I love the color combination. I love the springiness of it, even though they're not spring twists. I love how, like, bouncy they are. You know, which could be a little dangerous if you out there doing like this because your hair might hit somebody. But I love how bouncy they are. And, um... I love how they're twists, but if you like look closely, like it's just like, are they are they twists or are they curls? Or are they twists or are they curls? So I really like that illusion it brings. Like, are they curl twists? Are they twists? Like, I like the the ambiguous nature of the hair. Um, and then also I would say that um, they're a really pretty like look like they're, it's like a statement look. I could definitely see this as a very versatile hairstyle for like a summer vacation or a spring vacation or maybe fall or whatever it is but um versatile look so I like that and then also like durability wise I can't really say just yet because I've only had them in for like 24 hours but in the next three weeks look back at this video and I will hopefully by then be able to give like a update on how the hair has been for me. So yeah, that's basically the pros and cons of this hairstyle. Uh, if you decide to try this hairstyle, make sure you let me know. Tag me in your post, tag me in your Insta story or whatever. Just tag me so I can see <laughs> how it went for you. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!